So we can't get that. What was I what was I up to over here? Oh, this bush. The scraggle bit. There we go. Okay, so we've got tech. Tex. So decay, not helpful. Improvement. Garden bed with sticks. Rance planting. Place for the berry bush. So you can move berry bushes around. Well that's interesting, but not helpful here. I can make better tools. That'll be helpful. Weapons and martial skills. Interesting, but later. We want woodworking. Okay, so what do I need for... For the... Not the saw horse. Carpenter's workbench is... Oh, perfect. Just some more billet. And we already have the, uh, we already have the log in place. Okay, so that'll make us... Let us make, uh, planks. Oh, god damn it. Not billet, the other one. Alright, whatever. Can't chop this one down. Oh, but I can go for stumps. That that's what I need to go for. I made a mistake mistake. Oh. Kinda awkward, but you yeah, you can totally just push a log along. I wonder if there's, like, a, a tech that lets you carry multiple logs at the same time. Probably not. But still. Okay, uh, so we need flitch. <laughs> Does he need 13 hearts for the master shovel or something? <laughs> uh. Okay, so now, now we can make the, uh, the carpenter's workbench. That's a big sucker. If I put that right there, oh. If I put that right there, can I walk in front of it? I sure hope so. Okay, yeah, looks like looks like I can stand on this side. Okay, you can get a carpenter's wagon to carry multiple. Good, so I can walk in front of that. Uh, what do I need for a wooden plank? Not much, actually. And we just got another donkey. Is this multiplayer? No, but multiplayer on this would actually be pretty fun. I I would enjoy honestly, I would enjoy playing this multiplayer with my friends uh over multiplayer Stardew Valley. Because at least this one kind of has like defined goals of where to go and what to do. But sadly, no, it's it's not a it's not a multiplayer experience yet. And it probably never will be. Multiplayer is very hard to like jam into games like this. Okay, so the quality is getting worse a little bit. We've got the we've got the uh, the plank. So what do we need to fix the bridge the rest of the way? Just some more um, flitch. So another stump. I wonder if the stumps come back. Probably not. It's probably too late for me to do anything more out here. So let's just go back home. I I am actually really liking this. I oh, I already had uh I already had a log. Well that's fine. I, I was really expecting this was gonna be just kind of a uh short experience or like you know, kind of YouTube bait. But no, this is actually far from it. This is like a nicely deep experience across the board. Okay, now I have only one, one marker right now. Game has a whole lot of body. <laughs> Par. Oh god, the pun, the puns are endless. I've never been a very punny person. I'm more of like a spot, uh, and like performance humor person. I've been uh, listening to Bo Burnham. Uh, lately. Just kind of on like a, let's actually listen to a stand-up comedian and see 
see what like actual humor sounds like. I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe I just need uh clowns. Oh jeez. Yeah, clown humor I guess appeals more to me. But that is I guess that fixes it, but ugh, that does not look good. Okay. Hey, thank you, man from V, for all the bits. Alright, so let's check the map. We're looking for... Who knows what? It's not on the map. Well, we're going to the swamp at the very least, I think? I'm assuming it's over here. That There's stuff over here. Clear the path. Okay, this is metal. I might not... No. I'll definitely bust this one down. Okay, so there's some iron ore. Let's grab some mushrooms while we're here. Might as well, seeing as we have nothing else to do. Then we'll come back, uh, we'll come back for more. Need Texan. Oh, interesting. Need tech for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I should probably carry around brown mushrooms for, uh, for food. And yeah, it looks like we'll never run out of wood as long as I get the tech for it. Kind of hoping there would be monsters to fight at some point, but maybe they're somewhere else. But yeah, I was, ex I was expecting something a little bit more, well, complete with the bridge as opposed to, well, that rickety looking thing. Maybe you can fix it up later. I don't know. Okay, I still can't go... Yeah, I have to be a cleric first. Royal services... So I gotta finish the church first. Well, that's a little ways off. Want well, a suggestion on food you can access for free? Sure. I mean, I know about the uh, the food that I can kind of... Or the, the mushrooms on a stick that I can get. Oh. I can, uh... I can pull the flowers. Upgrading tools makes it easier. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. Unfortunately, I don't have the resources to upgrade tools. I'm pretty far away from it. Making a stone arch bridge is probably beyond the scope of this guy's jack-of-all-traziness. I know. I'm just so used to other other games being like, uh, uh, here's the resources. All right, you fixed the bridge. And it's like, how did I know how to do this? This doesn't even make sense. So I'm thrown off by how down-to-earth this game is being, I guess. Okay, well, can't do anything with cooking. Don't care about that too much. Do we have anything that uses a lot of green? Beekeeping, but that's... Decay. Compost heap and maggots. Ugh, maggots. See, so that's off a little bit. Um, hmm. Because we could do firewood. Save up for stone cutting. Get glass? I don't know what, what to do. Oh, there's some metal up here. Okay, so let's let's clean up the uh, the metal in the rocks from the immediate area. We oh, can I can I not do anything with the slime? Oh, my inventory is probably quite full, isn't it? Character, yep, it is full of stuff. All right. Hopefully those don't just disappear on me. That would be unfortunate. Now this is this is the trunk. Perfect. Put put away the flour. Uh, put away the meat. I can't do anything with the meat anyway. Put away the energy potion. I know I could I know I could use the energy potions, but uh, I'm anything if not uh, stingy about using up resources. Okay, so we got those done. Oh, your storage links to your workbenches. Oh, that's helpful. 
But yeah, I was confused about why I couldn't pick them up. Alright, and let's fix you up. Hopefully we'll learn- Oh, I should probably beeline for, uh, learning how to make whetstones. That might actually be one of the more important things. Can I- can I do that? Do we have a tech for that? Smithing? No, it doesn't look like I can learn how to make a whetstone. That's... That's... Sucky. Or I already know how to make one. No, no, it doesn't look like I, I can make one. Does it? Does it actually have a durability? Yeah, it does have a durability, but it'll take a while. Uh, let's see. Well, let's keep working on that metal. Even though I don't immediately need it. We gotta get that forge going so I don't have to make um, nails anymore. I think I need resources I don't immediately have. It gives you a reason to go into town. No, you're not wrong about that. Alright, so I, what do I need for the furnace? I've got the stone. I need a little bit more of the flitch. And then we need metal bits. Unfortunately, the metal bits might be a little bit harder to come by. You'll be able to make them. It's an unlisted craft in one of the stoneworks benches. Oh, good to know. Well, do we... Yeah, we don't know how to do book writing yet. We save up for that. Um, base four stones. Simple iron parts. We need two. How much? How much money do I have? I've got enough. Okay, so we should be able to make the uh, the furnace. I just have to go turn in the last, uh... Uh... Corpse... Burial... Burial certificate. Sorry. It's starting to get late. Yeah, it's it's 12.30. And I'm really hungry. I, I've noticed this. The hungrier I am, the tireder I am, the harder it is for me to string thoughts together. Maybe this is... I should probably go back and, like, watch some of my old footage at some point. But I've noticed I... I pause for a while now. I think well my brain catches up and I I don't know if that's a recent occurrence or if I've just been noticing it more often. Uh, but I get distracted by stuff. Maybe it's just because I'm playing slightly more complicated games too. Okay, well trade, burial certificate, there's the money. I should see if there's any other like immediate things I can do to sell. Sell. Uh, more like immediate cash crops for example. Uh, you know, I'm thinking like Stardew Valley and see if there's like a, a way to make more more cash along the way. Okay. Whetstones are 10. That's tough. That should be fine. The price of the iron is going up. Well, that's fine. I should be able to produce it after this point. And then we don't have to go see the blacksmith, except for when we run out of whetstones. But I might be able to make whetstones at some point, which would also help. Who knows? See, did I play this pre-release? No, I did not. I, uh, I wanted to, but it never was convenient for me to play. Because I, I always have so much on my plate. Honestly, like, I preferred not to even play games in Early Access anymore. I would love to... I would love to play every game under the sun, but I, it's unfeasible. I, I don't have the time. Uh, so... I saw the I saw the alpha I saw a vac playing it. And I was just like, yeah, I would love to play this. It looks really charming, and I can't believe he's played it for so long. You know, I really thought it was just going to be one of those like, eh, uh, YouTube bait games, but I couldn't be further from the truth. Oh right, got to go to the anvil first. And so, uh, so when I got the email. I think it was a couple of days ago, T Tiny Built sent out keys. But they're like, uh, the embargo's on the 15th. And I'm like, well, guess I know I'm waiting until today to play it. I don't regret that because I like pre-alpha versions. I like early access. But at the same time, it would be more fun for me to play games when they're complete. Uh, that way I don't have to play games twice. Because it's... It's unfortunate to play a game a second time around and be like, well, it's fun, but... It's not, 
like playing Dead Cells recently. I'm glad that I'm playing it in the uh, the completed version and I'm enjoying the completed version of Dead Cells, but it's not as exciting as a wow, that's big. Okay. Uh, can you say giant waste of space? I assume I can't rotate it. Yeah, it just flips back and forth. Damn. Yeah, I guess we'll just put it up here. Um, but you know, playing Dead Cells now that it's been completed, for example, I like it, but not enough has changed to like really make me excited for it anymore. So I played it for like, you know, 20 some odd hours back in the day. Fuel from sticks, fuel from coal. And I can make some iron ingots. Oh, I see. So instead of being time-based, you you chuck these in, and then you can make the iron ingot. And it'll just make it itself over time. That's a neat system. We're gonna need firewood. Bad. So let's pick that up first. I think, yeah. And that way we can pick up woodcutter, which lets me go after the bigger trees. Eventually. Okay, so now that we've got that, I guess let's go back to cleaning up the immediate area. It's also one of those where kind of like early access products tend to be a little bit unsatisfying. It's not so bad when early access is like, early access covers chapter one, and that's it. Nothing, uh, nothing more. And so you can play through chapter one and be like, well, I'll just be back to this later. What I hate is when it goes early access and it's like, okay, well, We've completed our game, but we added a bunch of new mechanics, a bunch of new things. Now we're gonna have to uh, reset everybody to kind of to kind of fit, and that kind of sucks for me because I'm like, I don't really want to replay through chapter one because I, I I've already played it, I've already seen what it is, and you know it's not exciting for me the second time around. There's no sense of wonder. But I think in this case, obviously, easy exception. There's tons of easy exceptions. As long as it's good, I'll play it. I guess is the uh, easy, lazy answer. So happy that the flesh doesn't rot. Okay, so we gotta go. We gotta go to bed. You can also queue multiple things in production. Well, that's helpful. Uh, not that helpful yet, because I don't have the firewood for it, but it is helpful. A lot of games are in endless early access. That's also a completely different uh, category to some degree. Uh, Factorio, for example, is a game that, you know, has been almost completely playable for years. They keep adding more stuff, but... Let's see. Fuel from coal, fuel from firewood. Can I make firewood? I'll have to figure out how to make firewood in a second. Let's deal with the corpse first. Uh, either endlessly stuck in early access or get worse as they go. Yeah, those are kind of separate exceptions. They're, they're absolutely games that, like, aren't worth playing. Because they've, they've just been mired forever. What's an easy example? Grav is a game that's been in early access forever and probably will never leave early access because the developers gave up on the game. That's a shame because Grav had some things going for it, but, uh, you know, the developers don't see it that way, so. Oops. And so it's just kind of unfortunate. Because, yeah, I would have liked to play that game. What other, what other games are, like, perpetually in early access? There's, there's tons. There's way too many. But, yeah, there do seem to be different breed, breeds of early access. Yeah, there's perpetual early access. There's feature complete, but not content complete. There's a lot of different exa examples. Oh, we got to get a chopping spot down. Okay, well, that's easy to make. I I personally like the uh, the kind of early access that obviously Factorio has been in. Or pretty much anything that Clay ever makes whenever it's in early access. Because those games are playable right from the get-go, and they might be kind of buggy occasionally, but they're never bad. And that's always one of the things that really gets my goat about a lot of early access products is they're just not very fun. 
Okay, wood wedges. Firewood or firewood. Oh, you can get firewood from one of those. Good to know. Well. Oh, right. I probably should have queued up extra. Oh, you get firewood from the, uh, from billet. Well, that's actually kind of helpful. Time consuming, but it's good for farming, uh, the red signs. Okay, fuel from firewood. And how do we craft multiple? I don't know. Well, in that case, let's just make more billet. While we're at it. Because at this point, we probably want to start saving up and beautifying that, uh... Start saving up and beautifying our, uh, our graveyard so we can finally start making some money. Maybe? Probably. And then you have the ones that rush out into early access soon and feel like they're still in early access. Oh, jeez, yeah. What was the game that I played recently? Uh, We Happy Few is an easy example of a game that absolutely just sprinted out of early access and never should have. Like, I like the idea of We Happy Few. It's a, not a terrible game, but they needed, like... They needed somebody to sit them down and be like, no. But instead, I think they had, uh... I think they actually had Gearbox being like, yes, you know, finish this. We're tired of funding you or something like that. Or actually, they got recruited by Microsoft, so... I think that was kind of a, a double mixture. We Happy Few makes me nervous. It's... We Happy Few is one of those games where it's like... The story, the writing, the characters, the voice acting, the visual design... There's a lot that, like, I actually really legitimately loved about the game. But, like, at no point was I, like, I really enjoy walking around this world and seeing any anything here or talking to people or interacting with them in any way, shape, or form. I was always kind of resentful of that. I'm like, go away. I don't want you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to deal with you. Okay, let's, let's learn how to make wooden grave fence, wooden cross, gravestone. Can I... Can I make them here? No. Grave sites and flower beds. Gravestone. Nope. Okay, so I gotta produce them elsewhere. Because, yeah, it's time that we make the, the graveyard look nice. Someone was probably upset with the decreasing sales and said, Make a release and get some cash before the project tanks. Yeah, you're probably right. It sucks, because, like, had they made it a totally linear game, cut down on the uh, stealth mechanics and, like, a bunch of the, the more, like, fiddly bits and just, like, had it be very narrative, I think it actually would have been a great game. I would have enjoyed the hell out of it. How, eh, hell out of it. But as it stands, when I got to the end of Act 1, I'm just like, Oh, no. I have more of these. How? Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got to figure out... Where do I produce the... The better grave stuff? Maybe I should check my... This. Okay. Crafted at Carpenter's Workbench. I don't... Oh. Oh. Here we go. Okay, so wooden marker, wooden grave, wooden cross. So wooden cross is better than the wooden marker. So really, we just gotta go get some more lumber. Uh, go chop some trees, I guess, or stumps. Let's see, you can beat We Happy Few in five minutes. No, that's not beating, that's called getting the, uh, the bonus ending. And I already got that one. You guys really should watch my YouTube series. <laughs> I guess that was the early access version a long time back. But yeah, no, I, I totally know about bonus endings. I just didn't care to do it this time around because everybody gets mad. Whenever I do the, like, trolley, like, you know, finale on the first episode, everybody gets, like, really mad at me. Be like, you don't like it when they get tricked. It's not even getting tricked, really. It's just... They don't like it when, uh, when I deviate from the norm. Like, I, my first episode of, uh, of, what was it, Far Cry 5, was the same way. 
and people were like legitimately mad in the comments and I'm like, well, I guess I'm never doing this again. So sue me for trying to do like a funny joke. Same thing with uh, me calling Chasm Shazam. People were like legit mad about that. And I was kind of taken aback at just like how little people can take a joke sometimes. Okay, so we have some flitch. Uh, so we might actually just need to... Oh. So that's that's how you make extra. Gotcha. Oh, might as well make every wooden plank. Well, that's convenient. Okay. Then we go back here, make the wooden cross. I'll want to make a stone cross, but we might as well make what we can now and replace the garbage junk that we don't need. And I'm tired. Well, that's fine. At least we've we've hit base self-sufficiency, which is really what I needed. From what I've read in the comments of Shazam, it seemed like more people were... Oh, I got the joke, then were upset. Oh, that's because I delete the upset people. I... If somebody's going to be really nasty in, in the YouTube comments, I generally will ban them. I don't... I've got pretty thick skin, but ultimately, it really does kind of just drag you down seeing people being, like, nasty in comment sections. Uh, day in, day out, or, you know, in a series that I'm really enjoying, people are just like, meh, this is meh. I'm just like, I, I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Alright. Let's just make, make more nails for now. We can go get more iron elsewhere. Evacted the Shazam joke, and I don't think many people got him uh, onto him for it. Yeah, I I think it's partly because I was one of the only people to cover uh, Shazam at the time, so a lot of, you know, I took the brunt of it, I guess. Making those crosses gets you a lot of research points. Did it? Still no on the nothing on the blue though. Just red. We're we're getting a ton of red, but no blue. Anybody know how to get more blue? Because I was assuming making nails would get me blue. Uh but it doesn't seem like that's the case. But people get angry, banning them from the comment section. Yeah, I if they were mean first, then if they get mad because I banned them from the comment section, then that's their own fault. Like, uh, to, I guess finish my thought. Like, it's just not fun to see negativity constantly. So yeah, I'd, I'd rather just like hide that stuff and just get rid of it because I, I don't want to deal with it. Let's just make wooden planks for days. You get blue from studying and paper making, I think. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Probably should go find the astronomer then, because I'm assuming he's the uh, he's the easy vector to getting that stuff. Okay, so while we're here, we want to go back to this, and make all six wooden grave fence fences. But yeah, no, I would love it. I, I'd love to live in a world where I don't have to ban people for uh, for their nasty comments on YouTube. But uh, no, I would much rather wake up happy and see happy comments and uh, not have to not have to think about it oh I bet we have a corpse sitting there waiting for us don't we also these take up inventory space well that's inconvenient um, let's put away the meat put away the slime put away the mushrooms put away the firewood grab these not enough energy I think I heard I think I heard the donkey a little while back. But I could be wrong. But yeah, the gravestones and the grave fences take up individual slots, which is a pain. Okay, you can buy books for knowledge. The draw astrologist sells them for 25 each. Interesting. Let's see. So, Wander, what do you think of the new uh, Fallout 76? Everything I hear about it scares the hell out of me. No, we don't have a corpse sitting there. All right, that's good. I was afraid that I'd missed it. I... How do I... How do I put it? 
Wood marker. Remove. Fallout 76 seems like it's going to be a... Uh, problem? I don't know how to de describe it apart from that. You know, it's not going to be on Steam. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be on Steam. It's multiplayer only. There's punishments for griefing, but... No... Real major punishments. So if somebody wants to just follow you around shooting you, they pretty much can just do that, and it's, it sucks a bit. Um, I mean... The fact that they're going to be putting it up on the Bethesda store as well is kind of scary, because it's just like... I... I don't hate Bethesda necessarily, but it seems like whenever they're kind of given carte blanche, uh... You know, control over their products, they tend to do just kind of dodgy stuff. Wait, what? It's multiplayer only? Sorry. Uh... You can play on a private server. Or no, you can play alone. Um... I should probably... I should probably kind of rephrase that. You can play alone, but if you want to play multiplayer, you have to play on one of their servers. And it's... That's that's what gets me. Because uh, I don't want to play on a server with other people. If I'm playing on a server with other people, I want it to be you guys and no one else. I, I don't want to be... Uh, I, I don't want to be playing with, like, a random Joe Schmo internet guy... That if they wanted to, they could follow me around shooting me forever, and it's like... That's not gonna be very fun. That scares me. And so, like, I want to play it, but... I get the feeling we're gonna have to deal with griefers, paid mods, server issues... Uh, multiplayer connectivity issues, and like, a bunch of other things. Like, I'm probably gonna play it alone. But I don't want to play I don't want to play with random people on the internet. It's like, uh, we were playing that Rend game, uh, a little while back, and it was balanced around, uh, three-team PvP, and I'm like, I just want to play with my friends, I don't want to have this, like, weird PvP experience. Uh, like, nothing, I, I know it's, I'm kind of maybe an outlier with a lot of these things, but nothing turns me off, like, uh, forced player versus player in any kind of game. Or even, like, not even forced, just, like, enabled by default, and you can't really escape it. I kind of really like invasions in Dark Souls, because almost always, they're just better than me, or there's connection issues, and I'm just like, well... I, I guess I'm just going to lose here. It's not so bad, but it's an inconvenient. 